Uh, well, my name is Mark Roberts. I'm the counselor and the summer camp coordinator here at James T. Alton Middle School. Um, today we're actually kind of celebrating the culminating event for uh, what we've made our three-week camp uh, here at JTA for this summer. Uh, each grade level has had a focus of a different STEM activity. Sixth grade was focusing on building catapults and all the science, social studies, math, and language arts that uh, the inner uh, curriculum that they could do uh, on that topic. Our seventh grade also uh, had a focus of rockets and so everything that they did all three weeks was based on rockets and then our eighth grade uh, had to design and come up with a piece of installation art to put out in our front rock bed uh, that kind of goes on with e human impact and things like that that they learn in uh, the eighth grade curriculums. So that's what we're doing today and today's is kind of a celebration of all, all their hard work. With us being out with from COVID and everything else, uh, this has been a, a source of normalcy for a lot of our students. They've missed it. They've got to have camaraderie with their, their friends again. Uh, they've been able to come back in and a lot of the slippage that happened from the A B schedule or being in TI, uh, we're kind of trying to erase that, uh, getting back in and working on uh, the you know language arts and reading and writing and math and science and social studies. So it's going to help with the uh, summer slippage as well. And uh, for a lot of these students, uh, we've been able to see a tremendous growth in just enthusiasm about school again. Uh, one of the things we fight in middle school after elementary school is kids start to get a little apathetic at times because they're just like, well, it's not as fun, it's not as this. So getting to do these big activities and launch rockets and shoot catapults and do things, it makes school fun again. Hearing laughter in the hallways is always a great thing. All right, sixth grade, remember the rules. Everybody else, they will be firing this tennis ball. Tennis balls are not easy to launch with popsicle sticks and bottle caps, but that's what I made them do. Remember, you get one try or a redo, but if you redo it, you have to take the second one whether or not it's very far. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. The only fair way to do this is start from one side and go down the line. So. Once you launch it, you tell me if you're satisfied with that. If you are, we put a flag down. The one who's the farthest away wins. You ready? Show them some Trojan pride, kids. You got this, kiddo. Want a second try? All right. All right. You're keeping this? All right. Okay, next one. You want to redo Chandler? Or are you keeping that one? Yeah, that's it. We got to redo. Line it up and hit it hard. Come on, get. All right. Where's your flag? All right. You go with that or you want to redo? Ah, right, try again. That doesn't even count. Do it again. You got this. All right. Good. It went somewhere. It went somewhere. It went somewhere. Yeah! Make it count! All right. You want to take your mulligan? Try it again, yes. <laughs> All right! All right!
I guess we saved the best for last because these Smarties definitely took this one away. Do, do you want to show them or do you want me to? You can. You can. All right, now listen up. Here's some bragging I want to do on this. They saw the catapult that Mr. Ritter rigged up. It's actually called the trebuchet. They saw me fire that trebuchet once, and they made an exact copy of it. And this is how they were able to win the contest. Now, you get to see the real thing. Let's go. Count us down from three, two, one. <laughs> Get ready, count down in no. three, two, one. Whoa, right. Congratulations, sixth grade, you've made it to seventh. Uh, one, I hope they gain some of the knowledge that they missed during NTI and COVID. Uh, two, I hope that they uh, have some memorable connection they made with another student or a staff member while they were here. And three, I hope that, uh, you know, when they think of JTA and they think of school, they think of fun. You know, a, a, a smile comes to their face. Uh, and really, that, that's a very powerful thing for a student. When, they, when you think of school and you think of, oh, no, I don't want to get ready, then it makes everything that you do when you get there hard. When the first time you hear school, you start thinking, oh, I had all that fun and I did all this. It makes school exciting and, and the kids uh, want to be here and, and it makes it a little, everybody's job easier and, and, and just more fun for everybody. This contest has two criteria for winning. The first, obviously, is distance. The one that goes the highest is clearly the winner. Tiebreaker is its drip. You heard me. Let's sit back and watch some launches. Gentlemen, you remember how to do this, yeah? Oh, well, yes, yes. All remember. right. You there? No. You're at 40. Five more good pumps. Okay, no launch is complete without a countdown. Ho oh, ho ho! Watch out, it's coming down! Boom! <laughs> Woo! If you could tell, this rocket went for a minimalist approach. They thought by putting literally nothing on it, they could win. Let's see. Three more. Good. Come on. Who's doing it? Camden. Yep. This is a good example for what just the two liter does. Count them down. All right. There you go. Keep going. You're going at the mark in the middle. A little more. Don't give up. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, that's my fault. Watch out. Stand back. Stand back. It was the pressure safety. The the pressure valve, the safety valve. Where are you, Liam? On for you. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Count them down. Take a look at this beautiful one.
All right. All right, here we go. Count it down in. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> All right, come on. Raphael, you gonna fire it? Who's pulling the cord? Okay. All right, let's go, Orange Rocket. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Do you see this fluffy cloud? <laughs> let, let me see. Here. <laughs> I think I think the cloud has met its match, ladies. <laughs> okay. All right, give my hand. All right, gentlemen. Um, uh, up there. Count me down. Oh, oh, that looks sick, man. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, count me down. On Monday, this was the highest flying rocket. But the first rocket of today flew higher than this one did on practice day. So, let's see who wins this competition. All right, here we go. Over here, over here, come on, over here. All right, this is for the win. Bring me your two rockets. In collaboration with Mr. Roberts, Mr. Bennett, who knows trigonometry and yours truly, by only 10 feet, this rocket win. All right, Isis, plug it in. Here we go, get ready. Yeah. Three. Count us down in five. Hold it, hold it down. Oh. This is for the Trojans. Is it? Push it down hard enough. Okay, count me down. Three, two, one. Three. Woo! Look at that thing go! So at our summer camp, the, the whole focus has been on uh, students that just wanted an enhancement opportunity, just wanted to come in and be with the students. So students were selected uh, based off of those who...
who asked to come to summer school. We had some teachers that recommended students that might be kind of art inclined. We had for the eighth grade, we had some students that were, uh, you know, doing really well in the science, sciences so they could kind of come in and be leaders uh, in this group. But uh, we just kind of opened this up to our entire body of students uh, and, and called and, and did one calls with uh, each parent and sat down and said, here's what we offer. This is not a punishment. This is not a just for these type of students. This is for everybody and we're going to have a lot of fun and we wanted to make sure it was all inclusive and that this was not something that you just sit and do worksheets, that it was going to be hands-on, uh, you know, integrated curriculum that uh, everybody would enjoy with STEM activities. My name is Miss Baker. I'm the art teacher here at JTA and I'm presenting the eighth grade summer camp project. Um, we started out this project by going on a field trip to Freeman Lake Park to look at a bunch of installation art and other memorials and things that they have there. Um, and my students designed this project from the bottom up after seeing that inspiration and talking a little bit about what it means to make an artwork to go in a specific place permanently. Um, our design winner, Jordan, uh, is in the back over here hiding a little bit. Um, <laughs> um, but I have Chelsea's Sonanis, right? Sonanis. Sonanis, sorry, uh, to explain to you what this project means and all of the intricate details that they have worked into it. So, um, hi, I'm Chelsea and I'm an eighth grade student. So I'm just going to explain what we did and we did made this with love. So the swords on the side, both sides is, you know, we've been through the corona and all that. We quarantine and it was hard so we decided to put that there because we're strong and we got through it perfectly fine and everything and the back part of the bell where that three o'clock is that's when school ends and you know eighth grader got you know we're gonna go to North Harden next year so but so yeah and we got and we got the prints where all the people made it Okay, so uh, these planks that we have are actually going to go in between the posts that we have uh, already started. Uh, they can't go up until after the concrete is set, but these three posts, or these two posts, are going to connect the three horizontal, uh, vertical posts to uh, bring each one together. The three posts symbolize each of the grades here at JTA. We have sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. The post uh, farthest in the back behind our bell is representative of the eighth graders. That's why they have the clock with the three o'clock on it to symbolize the time that the eighth graders have lost, but also the time that they got to enjoy here at JTA. Um, and the two shorter posts represent the other two grades, sixth and seventh grade respectively. And they each have quotes on the back about what it means to be a Trojan and how those grades can move up into eighth grade and continue making the Trojan community better. During this, the, the three weeks, we've had students, uh, some students that have struggled to attend regularly over the last couple of years. You know, getting them to come to school was an issue. I, I talked to a parent on the phone that said, we have a family emergency. We may have to miss a couple of days. Uh, after they talked to their student that night, uh, they called back the next day and said my student was adamant they weren't going to miss any days. So uh, the student wanted to be here and the mother was th very thankful that, you know, she said it was the first time since third grade that her daughter was excited to come to school. So uh, that for us was a big win. Uh, we've had some students that, uh, you know, during the school year were kind of shy, didn't want to participate in some of the PE and some of the other activities and group projects because they were just wor kind of wary. But, They've jumped in and become leaders. Uh, you know, we, we do team building activities in our PE section. And so we've had them step up and become the kid that's leading a group of people, uh, which has been awesome. Uh, we've had some students that kind of are the quiet, kid, quiet kids in the classroom and, and typically kind of take the back seat and they're kind of a follower. But uh, a couple of those students were the main leaders in our eighth grade art project and installation. So we're wanting to highlight them as well. So uh, we've just, we've had a lot of uh, aha moments for kids that uh, in the, building their coat of arms and in writing their explanation of why this represents them and the school, uh, you know, the, the, some of the things that they were learning in uh, writing this year just kind of it clicked for the first time in, in this small setting. So uh, we've had a lot of success stories and, and just been really thankful. The staff that's been working has been, been awesome and they've been uh, very appreciative of the effort of the students and the students have been very appreciative of the teachers and so we've just seen a lot of camaraderie and, and just, you know, just good uh, team building all around. All right, eighth grade, we've got something a little special for you. You all have put in a lot of hard work this year and these past three weeks to 
not only come up with this project, but also get through COVID. Uh, and to go on to be successful freshmen in high school. So we would like for each of you to be able to ring the bell at least once before you leave JTA. Uh, so you're already in a line, so this is perfect. Timmy, come on up.